for Tennessee Southern UTS across the chest in that uh, orange, orange numerals and orange and red piping and trim for UTS as Walker will go to the jump circle to tip it up here with Ashley McGeorge. Campbellsville left to right here in the first half, right to left for UT Southern. McGeorge wins the tap back to Faith Lake, and the Lady Tigers will bring it into the front court with Lauren Lee doing the honor. She bounces high post to Pritchett. Screen here by McGeorge. She'll roll not there. Pettigo wide open left corner. Wants to drive baseline back out. It's Lee off the elbow. Corner, Lake, right side, triple. Bang! Faith Lake and Edward Jones three to start things for CU. McNary walks it ahead. I am above the court right behind Ginger High called them. They've redone this near side as a turnover. McNary looking for Chumbly. Threw it away. Pettigo quickly to the offensive end. Pettigo kicks it out. Ball deflected and knocked out of play by Lester. And it will stay with the Lady Tigers. They'll have a sideline out of bounds. Short corner here. Lee waits. Pitches it out top to McGeorge. And now right side. Faith Lake. Left side. Open. Pritchett. Triple. Swish. Courtney Pritchett and Edward Jones. Three. Two to start the ball game for Campbellsville. They lead it 6-0. Out top, Walker. Back to McNary. She'll try and answer here. That is hard. Rebound to Lee. Lee the other way. Quickly across the timeline. Slows down. Waits. Has Pettigo left side. Cut off by Walker. Wants the entry. Instead skips it. Corner. Lake. Now Pritchett. Back door. Lake. Out. Pettigo. Three from the corner. In and out. No good. And the rebound to Lester. 6 nothing. Campbellsville leads. A minute and almost a minute and a half gone by here at the Curry Christian Life Center. Inside, Campbellsville loses Chumbly briefly, comes back to the middle. Here, Walker gets an offensive rebound off the Chumbly miss and the put back. 6-2, to two. Campbellsville the advantage. Warren Lee right side, McGeorge out to Pedigo. Thought about the long jumper, not there. Pedigo still on the dribble. Inside, now out. Ball is deflected by McNary. No, they say McNary did not touch it. Pedigo threw it between a couple of Lady Tigers there, it appeared. Uh, she had Lake and Lee, I believe, and just pitched it between them. Here, McGeorge will tie up the sneaker in the backcourt. Now, ball is pitched in, ready for play. Lady Tigers in that zone defense. UT Southern finds Lester down inside, misses the shot from about eight feet in front of the rim. To the other end, Campbellsville sprints. Pritchett looking. Out top, Pedigo. She has it. Defended here by Chumley. Bounces high post. Pritchett off the screen. One dribble. Needs help. Lee, left side. Back to Pritchett. They want McGeorge. Can't get it to her. Pritchett leaves it with Pedigo, who does the same with Lauren Lee. Eight seconds. Lee drives in. Floater over the top of Walker. No good. Rebound to Shero. And here comes McNary. Quickly to the offensive end. McNary inside. Lost the handle. They're going to say Campbellsville deflected it. And it will stay with UT Southern. 24 seconds on the shot clock. 7.23 to play first quarter. Matt Payton here with you. Shero off the inbounds play. Quickly freed up. Shot no good. A little hard. And the rebound to Pritchett. Pritchett leads Campbellsville to the front court. Now Lee working in the Firehawks wing there out at near midcourt in the logo. Pritchett holds it, wants McGeorge, has her now. McGeorge rolling, lost her footing, looking for some help. And we're going to have an offensive foul as Aaron Grace Lester got in there. McGeorge was kind of stumbling a bit and falling. She was trying to regain balance, came up and threw the arm through the defender there. That'll be the first on McGeorge, first on the Lady Tigers. Inside Walker, double team comes, kicks it out. McNary holds it. Off the wing, far side. Now Walker, straightaway jumper is good for Savannah Walker. Walker from 17 feet there, just inside the arc. Six to four, Campbellsville hit a couple of early Edward Jones threes here. Back door, Faith Lake couldn't connect. Pritchett found her, and Lake just a little short on that effort. To the other end, 
The Firehawks, far side, Lester open. She'll try a three, and that is no good. Rebound taken by nobody. It goes out of play, and they will say Campbellsville basketball, as Chumley just couldn't quite grab it clean. Caitlin Wilkes going to enter here for CU, 6'2", junior forward from Stanford, Kentucky. George will check out. And for the Firehawks, I believe that is Takia Goff, 5'6", freshman guard from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Campbellsville to work here. Almost four minutes gone by in this first quarter. Six to four. Lady Tigers lead. Cheryl falls down, back up. Pedigo has it. Now going to skip it left side. Lake, triple on the way. Bang! Faith Lake gets the friendly bounce. Three Edward Jones threes here early for CU. Nine to four. All of Campbellsville's points have come from the long ball. Shero's answer is off the mark, and the rebound taken by Pedigo. She stepped on the in line as she tried to grab that. And here is a change. McNary back in for Shero. So McNary got a 30 second break or so. Not even that. McNary. Still looking for somewhere to go with it. Throws it away. She was near a five-second call, just kind of threw it in. Here, Lake looking. The ball's back tap. Gets it right back and sticks it through. Faith Lake. Another bucket for Campbellsville. She has eight of the 11 Lady Tiger points. Golf bounces out front. Now McNary goes baseline to Chumley. She catches right back to McNary. Far side, Lester, long three, short, rebound taken by Pritchett, shovels it ahead. Here comes Lee. No numbers, Lee stops, picks up her dribble, Lake in the corner, entry here to Wilkes, Walker comes over the top, knocks it free, and we're going to have a jump ball here as Lester and Pritchett lock it up, and the arrow favors University of Tennessee Southern. Changes here as Campbellsville will remove... Three players, Pedigo, Pritchett, and Lake checking out for the Lady Tigers. Shyla Calvert in there, 5'5", graduate senior guard from Bardstown, Kentucky. Maddie Boyle, 5'5", junior guard from Milledgeville, Kentucky. And Sarah Sutton, 5'11", a junior forward from Scottsville, Kentucky. Walker goes to work against Wilkes, pitches it out, golf tracks it down. Rachel Baker out there for UT Southern, 5'11", senior guard from Rimlap, Tennessee. Goff going to take a contested jumper over the top of Boyle. No good. Lauren Lee, the rebound for Campbellsville. Lee, the other end. Calvert catches, driving. Sutton won't shoot it. Boyle in the corner looking for Wilkes. Too far. Goff slides in there like a baseball player almost trying to slide in and grab one off the outfield grass. Able to Keep it in play for UT Southern. Golf on the wing. Back out top. Walker going to take a deep three. That is good. Savannah Walker showing off a little range for UT Southern. One of one on the season for Walker. She's now two of two. Inside, Wilkes matched up with Baker. Going to go to work. Left hand, little short for Wilkes. And Baker, the rebound for the Firehawks. 11 to 7. Campbellsville leads by four. 3.50 to play first quarter. Shero driving. Going to throw up a floater with the right hand. That is good for Faith Shero. And 11-9 the count. Lauren Lee out to Sutton. Now right side. Calvert holds it. She'll drive. Cut off with some help. That's going to be Sutton on the left block. Sarah Sutton going to get the bucket. Shyla Calvert found her across the paint. Chumbly off the wing. And take a three over the top of Sutton. That is good. Campbellsville gave Chumbly a little room. And Deanna Chumbly knocks down the three-point field goal. She hit one of those back in the Powell Center earlier this year. 13 to 12. Campbellsville by one point. Left side, Calvert holds. Sutton off the wing. Entry to Wilkes. Has her and Wilkes couldn't handle it clean. Ball's on the ground. Wilkes... Couldn't quite tie it up before Shero got it off free to Chumbly. Now golf the other way, lost the handle, and Lauren Lee going to be called for a foul here. So the Lady Tigers a bit uh, out of sync there in the offensive end. And this will bring us to a media timeout with 2.51 to play in the first quarter. Campbellsville leads UT Southern by 1 point, 13 to 13-12. The score will step away. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. 
This is Jack on Shield Swinsky, Campbellsville native and the new director of on campus enrollment at Campbellsville University. I'm excited to share information on CU's 100% tuition guarantee. If you are an eligible incoming freshman from Kentucky, come find your calling at Campbellsville University. Live local, learn local with CU's 100% tuition guarantee. Visit us at camelsville.edu slash guarantee for more information and eligibility. Thanks for following Lady Tiger Basketball. Now let's get you back to the action on the Camelsville University Sports Network. 13 to 12, our score, 251 to play in the first quarter. Matt Payton with you in Pulaski, Tennessee. Campbellsville shot it really well, five of nine shooting, but the turnovers for the Lady Tigers have played them thus far. Campbellsville with six turnovers here in the early going on the season. They are seventh in the nation in turnovers per game, just 12 turnovers for the Lady Tigers. So here in the early stages, they are halfway to that number. And will be one area they're going to have to clean up. Back to play we go here. It will be UT Southern basketball for Campbellsville. They send Lake, Pritchett, and George Pettigo back out there as well. Sutton remains on the court for CU. Chum lead the ball. Right side to Goff. Now Shero rips through, wants to drive against Pettigo. will step back, can't shoot. Golf with it, dribbles between the circles now, comes near side, Chumley right in front of the Lady Tiger bench, thought about it, can't pull the trigger, and Pritchett steals it, she'll come long ahead to Faith Lake, Lake working against Chumley, goes into the shot, no good, and here we're going to have a foul on Shero as Sutton was there in pretty good position to rebound it, and Shero going to be called for a push underneath, and that will give it to the Lady Tigers here, Pedigo to trigger it in, Chumley will check out. Into the lineup is Aaliyah Williams, 5'10", senior forward from Manchester, Tennessee. Pritchett holds it, working against Shero. Comes across, needs some help. Splits defenders, throws it out. They're going to say an extra step by Pritchett before she could get the pass away to Faith Lake. Thirteen to twelve, UT Southern can take their first lead of the day with a bucket. Go off the basketball. Into the corner, McNary. Now they bounce out top, Shero. Sutton defends. Shero going to take a quick three as she was on the dribble to the right. They have forced that one. Gets it back, driving in. Another floater for Shero. No good. Rebound to Pettigo for the Lady Tigers. Here comes Bailey Pettigo. Works her way down the court. Backs away from Shero. Once Pritchett in the high post, has her. McGeorge sets the screen, now rolling. McGeorge going to go up, and they're going to call an offensive foul against Ashley McGeorge. That's going to be two on McGeorge as McNary down there takes the contact. And Campbellsville will see McGeorge check out. They'll go a bit smaller here as Lauren Lee reenters the lineup for the Lady Tigers. Walker back in for the Firehawks. Baker at the free throw line. Walker working against Sutton. Sutton tries to take the contact, and Walker gets the bucket. And UT Southern's first lead of the basketball game here. Lee inside, now backs away in the corner. Out top, Pedigo driving in, left side of the lane. Back door, has Lake, kicks it out. Open Lee, now Sutton straight away, triple, off the mark. Rebound, Lake couldn't handle it clean, flew just a bit too uh, too strong off that rim. Flew through her hands. Shero out front. Deep three. Four feet beyond the arc. And it is short. No good. Almost bounced through, however. Campbellsville the other way. They trail by a digit. Pedigo shovels to the trailer. Pritchett now gets it back. Pedigo has it poked free by Shero. Bodies all over the floor here. We're going to have a jump ball call. That should keep it with Campbellsville. 16 on the shot clock. 39.6 seconds remaining here in this first quarter. Calvert and Boyle will re-enter for CU. Faith Lake and Sarah Sutton will head to the sideline. Campbellsville down a point as they'll have a baseline out of bounds underneath. Calvert inside. Shot up, won't go. Lee found her on the quick move on that far side block. And this will be a foul on Baker. 
So for Campbellsville, or excuse me, for UT Southern, Baker's first, second on the Firehawks, and Shyla Calvert goes to the free throw line. 37.7 showing. First free throw for Shy is good. One more coming here for the senior. And that one is good. So Shyla gets both. Campbellsville back out. Back out on top here, 15 to 14. Now front Lester with the basketball. Firehawks looking for Walker. They have her. She'll take a quick turnaround shot. No good. Off the mark. Boyle flies in. Grabs the rebound. Shot clock is off. Boyle crosses the midcourt stripe at 19 seconds. Now down to 15 seconds as Pedigo works. Shero defends. Pedigo wants the lead. Comes uh, coming left side. Boyle has Pritchett Walker over the top. No call. Six seconds. Pedigo going to take a triple. That is no good. The rebound to Walker with one second. McNary will catch. Tries to throw it ahead, but that is where the first quarter will come to a close. Campbellsville will take a one-point advantage into period number two here. 15-14 to 14 the score. Second quarter coming your way. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. We thank Citizens Bank and Trust for making this sportscast possible. Citizens Bank and Trust features mobile payment options such as Android Pay, Apple Pay, and Google Pay on the web at cbtky.com. Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Portions of this sportscast are brought to you by Saloma Baptist Church, an intergenerational church, a family of faith connected through the love of Jesus, ministering to our community and world in the name of Jesus Christ. Online at SalomaBaptist.com. This is Ginger High Colvin, head coach of the Lady Tigers. Thanks for following today's coverage of CU Basketball on the Camelsville University Sports Network. 15 to 14, the score. The Lady Tigers lead UT Southern here in Pulaski, Tennessee. Matt Payton with you as Campbellsville. With that advantage, shoots it at a 42% clip in the first quarter. They were 5 of 12, 9 turnovers on the Lady Tigers. That may be their highest amount in a single quarter this season. Nine giveaways. UT Southern posts seven points off the nine Lady Tiger turnovers. The Firehawks shoot it just 33%. They were 6 of 18 there in the first quarter of play. As we get set to return to action here, it will be Firehawk basketball. For Campbellsville, you've got Boyle, Lee, Calvert, Pettigo, and Pritchett out on the court. McNary, the basketball for UT Southern. Goes right side to Chumbly. Now Lester into the corner. Shero, and she changed her mind. Pritchett flew out. Shero had to give it up and threw it away. Boyle to the offensive end. Jumper from 14 feet is good for Maddie Boyle. Boyle coming off the career high 19. Picks up where she left off in Marietta. Seventeen to fourteen, a football score. Chumbly working right side of the lane. Goes a shot, no good. Rebound taken by Pedigo. Pushing three on two for Campbellsville. Pedigo inside, and it looked like she kind of got uh, tied up there. I think Lee kind of sagged off into the corner on the wing. Pedigo may have thought Lee was going to come with her and led to an extra step through things out of sync perhaps as Campbellsville will give it back their 10th turnover of the basketball game. Left side, Shero, excuse me, that is uh, the right side, far side. Shero's three, no good. Rebound to Campbellsville. Pedigo the other way. Over a minute play here in the second quarter. Campbellsville trying to add to its three-point advantage. Lee bounces inside. Pritchett, little ball fake. Creates some space. Shot, no good. Pritchett can't grab her own miss. Chumbly does the other way for UT Southern. Left side, McNary. Inside is Chumbly. Missed the shot. It would have been an easy lay-in for Chumbly. Perhaps rushed it a bit. Lee to the other end. Backs away, and she is bumped and fouled here by Shero. And that'll be the second on Faith Shero. Third on... Actually, uh, we're in the second quarter, so that's the first on UT Southern in the second quarter.
Pritchett and Pettigo will check out. Wilkes and Sutton back in for CU. Inside, Lee finds Calvert across the paint to Wilkes, who has to catch it quickly and go up with a shot, gets the finish. Nice job by Calvert to dish it across the paint. Wilkes with the hot hands there as that ball came in quick on her. 19-14 to 14 the score. Walker out front working against Wilkes. Lee rakes at the basketball. Walker tries to save it, and here we've got a foul as Walker kind of falling down. Wilkes got between her legs to grab the ball away, and Walker falling down gave a shove, I suppose, to Shyla Calvert. Spilled hard. Shy's okay, and that'll be the first on Walker in the basketball game. Two now in the period on UT Southern. Nineteen to fourteen. Lee the basketball. Lady Tigers the lead. Lee bounces inside Wilkes. Back out. Ball's deflected and stolen by Golf. Another turnover on the Lady Tigers. Far side Chumley won't shoot it. She'll drive in. And we're gonna have a foul here on the floor called against Shyla Calvert. That'll be the first on Shyla. And the first on the Lady Tigers in period number two. So McNary will inbound here for UT Southern. Looking. Going to throw a lob here to Williams. Calvert tries to fly in there. Wilkes blocks it from behind. It goes out of play. It'll stay with UT Southern. 19 to 14. Campbellsville leads. 7.44 to play second quarter. McNary to inbound. Looking, finds golf cutting, gets inside, throws up a reverse that is no good. Rebound taken by Wilkes. She finds Lee on the outlet, and here comes Campbellsville. Lee leaves it back for the trailer. Sutton, now left side, Calvert. Lee again. Sutton left side, on around, Calvert. Boyle, now Sutton right side. Lady Tigers motion. Sutton on the dribble. Needs some help. Has Calvert at the free throw line. Lost the handle. Ball knocked away. McNary picks it up for UT Southern. Campbellsville with another giveaway. Here is Golf driving in. And that shot good for Takiya Golf. 19 to 16 the count. Lady Tigers back to the front court here. Lee with it, gets the handoff from Sutton, and after Sutton held it for a moment, straight away Boyle. Boyle working, right side Calvert, six to shoot. Shyla on the drive, bounces, threads the needle into Wilkes, and she is fouled as that will go against UT Southern's Takia Golf. That'll be the first on Golf, three now on the Firehawks. And this will send Caitlin Wilkes to the free throw line here for Campbellsville. 73% on the season. That one is no good. 19-16 to 16 the score. Pritchett going to re-enter here for Campbellsville. And this free throw is good for Wilkes. So she gets one of two. Pritchett will check in here for Sarah Sutton. Twenty to sixteen, UT Southern the basketball. Chumbly quickly pitches it in free throw line to McNary. She wants to drive, throws up a contested ball away floater, almost one handed shot for McNary goes through. Difficult finish. Twenty to eighteen, the count. Campbellsville working right side off the wing. Pritchett cutting his Calvert, not there. Now Pritchett wants to drive inside. In the middle of the paint, stops underneath. Shot up, won't go. Rebound, Wilkes. Wilkes going to go back up, and it's tied up by Williams. And the arrow will stay with Campbellsville here. Six minutes even showing on the game clock. Not a crisp first 14 minutes for CU. Boyle straight away. Gets the screen from Wilkes. Goes left side. Lowers her head. Goes up the right hand. And Maddie Boyle gets the finish at the rim. Nice job by Boyle. 22-18. Chumley going to take a three. And that is in and out. No good. Rebound taken by Pritchett. Feels like Courtney Pritchett has a half dozen rebounds already. We'll check the numbers in a moment. Lee 
Working. Free throw line. Driving. Kicking it out. Boyle. Three on the way. That is hard. And the rebound taken by Goff. McNary out top. This is Chumbly. Shovels it back to Goff. Five minutes, ten seconds to play first half. Goff on the dribble. Now McNary back to Goff. Ten to shoot. Out top. Wilson going to hoist a quick turnaround. Excuse me, Baker going to take a quick turnaround shot. Uh, we have Rachel Wilson, I think the uh, young lady for life, Rachel Baker here today to post players. Baker hit that one from outside the circle. Just inside the arc. Here, Wilkes turns and she is contacted. Ball goes out of bounds as Goff was in there trying to take the charge. So no call there. Ball goes out of play. It stays with Campbellsville. Calvert checks out as Pettigo will re-enter for CU. And this brings us to a media stoppage here with four minutes and 40 seconds to play in the first half. The Lady Tigers lead it 22-20. to You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. With more than 80 majors and certifications, Campbellsville University offers students an affordable higher education in a Christian setting. Located in the heart of Kentucky, Campbellsville University boasts eight regional centers across the Commonwealth. Our 13 to 1 student professor ratio provides a small classroom environment allowing professors to work closely with the students. To schedule a visit or apply, go online to campbellsville.edu. Come find your calling at Campbellsville University. Complete coverage of Lady Tiger basketball continues on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. 440 to play in the first half. Matt Payton with you in Pulaski, Tennessee. The Lady Tigers lead UT Southern 22 to 20 here in the early stages of this one. Campbellsville is not taking very good care of the basketball. They are already at their season average in turnover, so a bit out of sorts offensively. Give credit to UT Southern for the defensive efforts and those quick guards out top. Uh, McNary at golf giving Campbellsville some trouble. Mentioned Pritchett in the rebounds earlier. She has five rebounds already. Pedigo has four. Lady Tigers back to work here. 13 on the shot clock. Lee inbounds. Finds Boyle left corner. Back out with it. Entry here to Pritchett. Out to Lee. Lee on the dribble. Five seconds. Right block, shot up, hits the rim, no good. Walker, the rebound for UTS. And the Firehawks the other way. They can tie it or take the lead here. Chumbly out top, shuffled the feet. Shuffled the feet before decking it, and that turnover gives it back to Campbellsville. Lauren Lee across the timeline, greeted by Goff. Head to go. Bounces, Pritchett, leaves it with Lee, free throw line back, Pritchett wide open left side, triple on the way, no good, rebound to Pettigo, and Pettigo has it tied up, she couldn't quite handle it clean, the arrow will go to UT Southern. Four oh three to play now in the first half, Campbellsville back to the defensive end. Nursing a two-point lead here. McNary out top to Goff. Entry quickly to Walker. She'll go fall away over the top of Pritchett. No good. Rebound tapped by Baker. Out of bounds. It will be CU basketball. The Lady Tigers with a chance to add to their lead once again. Leaves it out with Pritchett here on the short pass. Golf circling there, nearly had a back tap. Pettigo works far side. She stops, needs some help. Faith Lake going to drive baseline, kicks it out. Ball's deflected by Walker, and UT Southern to the offensive end. Ball knocked away. Lee did just enough to fly out at Golf. Boyle picked it up. Lee working across the floor, back to Pettigo on the drive. Shot up, no good. Walker claims the rebound, and again... The Firehawks the other way. Baker holds it. 
Out front, Lester, working left side of the lane. Lester goes up the scoop shot with the left hand that is no good. Rebound taken here by Pettigo, and she'll push. Pettigo quickly ahead. Right wing, wide open. Boyle, three on the way. It is no good. In and out. Rebound to Savannah Walker. 22-20. We've been stuck on this number for a bit. McNary has the left thumb pointed down. UT Southern in their half-court set. Goff, the jumper. No good from 14 feet. Rebound, Pedigo. Lee now, left side. Sprints in, stops just inside the arc, bounces it out to Pedigo, on around Boyle. Driving baseline. She'll stop, go up with a shot that is good as Lester tried to take the charge. No call, and Boyle gets another bucket. 24-20. Two ten to play. First half. Golf on the far side. Lester straight away between the circles. Now they come near side, right in front of the Lady Tiger sideline. McNary to golf again. Holds it. Now skips it into the bleachers. That'll go all the way into the first row. And a turnover on the Firehawks. Campbellsville gets it back. Chumbly gonna enter the lineup here for UTS. 153 to play. First half, Sutton will check in for the Lady Tigers as Bailey Pettigo has earned a breather. Four point Campbellsville lead. 150 to play as Lee saunters ahead, pitches it over to Sutton who holds it on the right side. Boyle, one dribble. Now Lee left wing. They have Calbert out top. Boyle gets knocked to the ground. Pritchett holds it. Several defenders there. Out to Lee. Sends it back. Straight away triple from Boyle is no good. Pritchett, the rebound. Keeps it free from defenders. Shot no good. Gets another opportunity to Swiss. That one no good. Calbert taps it out. Boyle won't shoot it here with a minute 19 to play first half. Calbert driving baseline. And they're going to call a moving screen on Pritchett. Pritchett had three cracks down inside, no foul. Then you get a moving screen there, and, and on two of those, Ginger High called and unhappy, as one might expect. I think she's arguing the same thing. My post had three shots down there with defenders hanging all over. Here's on the other end, Walker, quick turnaround shot just outside the paint. fifty seconds to play in the half. Campbellsville leads by a deuce here. Lee on the cut. Calbert finds Lauren Lee for the easy lay-in. I think Lee got whacked in the noggin. Calbert reads the passing lane, deflects it, and it's going to be Lady Tiger basketball. She got just enough of it to keep Lester from catching it clean. And Campbellsville going to get uh, the basketball back as Coach Ginger High called and Continue to uh, do a piece of chewing. The official going to give her a, a warning, but it's warranted because you could see Lee's head change directions down there on that layup, so she was unhappy about back-to-back trips. 26-22, and I say warranted. The, the uh, conversation was certainly warranted. Five-second differential between the shot and game clock here. Sutton, the back door look for Lee. It's picked off by McNary, and McNary will come the other end, and they're going to have a foul call here as McNary will go to the free throw line. Sutton kind of flies by a bit. There may have been contact, fairly minimal. And again, this gets back to the Pritchett play down in there with three offensive chances, and there were no calls with multiple Firehawks down there and uh, hanging all over Pritchett, and that's what... Kind of started some of this for Campbellsville as far as being upset. 14.7 seconds remaining in the half. McNary at the line here to make it a one-point ball game and cannot. Pritchett, the rebound for CU. Lauren Lee ahead to Pritchett here as they try to work against some pressure. Seven seconds. Calbert across the floor. Bounces right wing. Boyle, head fake, drives in. Out to Lee. Two seconds. Three on the way. Hard. And that is where the first half will come to a close. The Lady Tigers with the two-point advantage, 26 to 24. We would have a tie for fifth, sixth, and seventh between Bethel, Freed Hardeman, and Pikeville. 
Lindsey Wilson and UT Southern, depending on what shakes out here for the Firehawks. The Firehawks could put themselves in that 5-6-7-8 tie with Lindsey then being ninth. Back to work here. McGeorge underneath finds Lee. Pedigo goes up off glass. No good. She's fouled from behind now by Lester. As uh, We'll continue. We'll look at those, those standings again here when we get a chance. Foul here on Aaron Grace Lester. That is her first. First on the Firehawks in the second half. Campbellsville going right to left here in the second half. Left to right for UT Southern. Pedigo's first free throw good. Her first point of the day. Seven first half rebounds. Had a rebound of her own missed shot. Was fouled on that second chance. So she gets both free throws. Up to eight boards for Bailey here this afternoon. UT Southern to work on the offensive end. Lester, the basketball, goes right corner. Sherrill, quick release. Three on the way. Hit the side of the backboard from the corner. Rebound to Faith Lake. Courtney Pritchett wants to run. Now slows down, dribbles towards, and hands off to Lauren Lee. Lee comes left wing. Pedigo surveys. Works back to the middle. And needs some help. Lee. Now McGeorge straight away. She couldn't get it to Lee. Pedigo driving. Nine to shoot. Pedigo stops. Cutting. Late. Ball taken away by Lester. And another giveaway for Campbellsville. Long ahead. McNary to Shero. Cut off by Pritchett behind the back. Floats one out on the wing to Chumbly. And now McNary will set it up. Ball deflected by Faith Lake and taken by Lauren Lee. Campbellsville to the offensive end. Lee going to go right side. Throws up a shot. May have been partially deflected or blocked there. As McNary comes out of there with it, she will sprint ahead, leaves it with Cheryl. An offensive foul. Pedigo plants the feet. McNary runs her over, and Taylor McNary hit with her first foul of the day. That is two on the Firehawks. Nice job by Pedigo there to get herself set, and it leads to a Firehawk turnover. 28-24, Campbellsville's largest lead was seven earlier. Edward Jones would love to see it matched here. Lee looking down inside for Lester, or excuse me, uh, Lee looking down inside for McGeorgia was broken up by Lester and last touched by Lester. Lee into Pritchett. She holds it up over her head, surveys, nowhere to go with it, back out top. Lee, right side, Pritchett entry, McGeorgia, quick move up. And one for Ashley McGeorge. They will count the basket. And the foul call will go against Taylor McNary. That'll be her second three on the Firehawks. And McGeorge to the free throw line. It won't quite be an Edward Jones three-pointer that could extend Campbellsville's lead back to seven. But the old-fashioned three-point trip will do it. Nick George sinks the free throw toss. 31-24, Lady Tigers by seven. Lester comes right side to McNary. Now Cheryl off the elbow, back to McNary. She wants to drive, cut off, out. Cheryl on the wing, three on the way, good. For Faith Cheryl. 31-27. Lauren Lee bounces left side to Lake. Wants McGeorge. That pass is broken up. Ill-advised pass by Faith as there was uh, very little to no room between two defenders. Out top, Cheryl. It's deflected by Lake. Cheryl stays with it. Now shovels it over to McNary. Less than seven and a half minutes to play third quarter. Lester out top. Back to McNary on the wing. Lester again straight away. Can't shoot it as Lake closes out. Six to shoot. McNary on the drive. Throws one up over the top of Lee. No good. Rebound to McGeorge. Chance at numbers here. They uh, do a nice job as UT Southern to slow Campbellsville down. Lee, left side. Skips it right wing. Triple. No good. Hard. Rebound. McGeorge. Pedigo's three was no good. McGeorge put back. No good. And the ball's batted out and taken by Lester. Four-point Campbellsville lead. Lester's picked up her dribble. Lee pressures. Now Williams. McNary has it finally for UT Southern, and they'll set it up. Lester on the dribble now. Straight away. Left side, McNary. Ten to shoot. Lester 
working left side. Shovels one around underneath to Shara. That's a really nice find by Aaron Grace Lester. And Shero gets an easy bucket down low. 31-29. Five straight here for the Firehawks. Lee bounces left side to Lake. Wanting McGeorge not there. Chumley defends. Pritchett back to Pettigo. Pritchett now over the top to McGeorge. Rolling right side. Gets the lay-in. There's Ashley McGeorge. Courtney Pritchett with a beautiful lob over the top. 33-29 the count. Chumley down on the baseline. Out top. Ball knocked away by Faith Lake. Stolen by Lauren Lee. Lee hesitates at the free throw line. Gets inside. Throws up a shot. Won't go. But Lee will go to the free throw line here as this foul will go against Aaliyah Williams. And that is her first four on the Firehawks. 5.41 to play in the third quarter. Changes here as Takia Goff. We'll check in. Savannah Walker back in for the Lady Tigers. Maddie Boyle and Caitlin Wilkes enter. Faith Lake and Ashley McGeorge get breathers. Lee at the line for two shots. This first free throw is good for Lee. 83.5% on the season. One more coming for Lauren Lee. And that is good. Lee will check out as Calvert re-enters. That will move Pedigo, I believe, to the point guard spot. Calvert, Boyle, Wilkes, and Pritchett out there with Pedigo. 35-29, five and a half minutes to play. Cheryl, a deep three is good. She was four or five feet beyond the arc. 35-32. Shero starting to get a little confidence here. Knocks one away from Pedigo. Pedigo now gets the step on her as she recovers. Bailey has it knocked out of her hands and out of bounds. 5.14 to play in the third quarter. Campbellsville a three-point lead, 18 on the shot clock. Pedigo to trigger it, finds Boyle flashing back to Pedigo who works out front. Angles back over the top, looking for Wilkes, stolen by Goff. UT Southern, is this Lady Tiger team well scouted. Shero another three, and we are tied as Faith Shero has hit three. Second half threes. Pedigo the basketball for Campbellsville. 35 each way. Pritchett holds it out front, works off the Wilk screen, driving, kicking, Calvert, corner, triple is hard. She's going to get her own rebound back out to Pedigo. Works left side, out to Pritchett, holds it. And again, Calvert on the wing, little jab step, wants to drive back into the middle, and it goes between two Lady Tigers there to pick it up as Boyle. Boyle, baseline, Pedigo driving, and we're going to have an offensive foul called on Bailey Pedigo as that will be for Pedigo, her first. Teams first, and this will be a media timeout here with 4.21 to play in the third quarter. We are knotted up 35 each way. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. We thank Citizens Bank and Trust for making this sportscast possible. Citizens Bank and Trust features mobile payment options such as Android Pay, Apple Pay, and Google Pay on the web at cbtky.com. Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Portions of this sportscast are brought to you by Saloma Baptist Church, an intergenerational church, a family of faith connected through the love of Jesus, ministering to our community and world in the name of Jesus Christ. Online at SalomaBaptist.com. This is Ginger High Colvin, head coach of the Lady Tigers. Thanks for following today's coverage of CU Basketball on the Camelsville University Sports Network. 421 remaining here, third quarter. Matt Payton with you at the Curry Christian Life Center. Campbellsville and UT Southern tied up 35 apiece here as the Firehawks have taken advantage of the long ball off the fingers of Faith Shero here in the second half. She has helped get UT Southern back into this basketball game. I say back into it. They were never out of it. Been tightly contested throughout Campbellsville with 20 turnovers. As 
as we return to play here out of the timeout. The media stoppage, it will be UT Southern basketball. Lester with it out front. Walker, quick turnaround shot, no good. Rebound going to be tracked down by Lauren Lee. She'll work down the far sideline, accelerating. Now slows down, kicks it out to Sutton. Faith Lake on around left side, Boyle. Nice defense for UT Southern as they're able to maintain Pete Campbellsville from firing off a triple. Sutton wants the entry to Wilkes, can't get it to her. Now Lee back to Sutton in the corner, far side, three on the way. Bang! Shooting, shooting, and Edward Jones, three, 38-35. Lady Tigers in front. Three and a half minutes to go, third quarter. McNary walks it ahead. McNary still on the dribble, waiting. Walker comes up to set the screen. McNary doesn't use it. Instead goes back to Shero. A contested three over Boyle is well off the mark. Short rebound to Campbellsville. Lee bounces. Wilkes in front of the rim. Off glass. Beautiful. She gets the deuce. Lauren Lee the dime. 40 to 35. Five straight for CU. Less than three minutes to play in the third period. McNary out front, Shero, Lee with a hand in her face, one dribble, now into the corner, Baker has a wide open walker underneath, Campbellsville lost her, Boyle flashes and does just enough, I believe got a, a piece of that on the way up to alter the shot, how about Matty Boyle against the 6-3 walker, nice help defense there. Goff going to check in for Lester, 2.44 to play third quarter. McNary to pitch it in. The top two assisters in the league in this game, and McNary and Lauren Lee. Out front, Chumley wide open. Three is no good. Boyle throws the lasso around that loose ball rebound. Here comes Campbellsville. Lee between the circles. Waits. Left side, she'll come to Sutton. They want the entry not there. Lake can't get it into Wilkes either. Out right side, Boyle, quick release. Bang, Maddie Boyle and Edward Jones, three. And the Lady Tigers, just like that, have posted eight straight, and they lead it by eight. Shero, the answer, no. One dribble will now fire that three. That is off the mark. Rebound to Wilkes. Ooh, Walker, big slap of the wrist of Peyton Wilkes reaching in there. Walker, you could hear it all the way up here, and I've got the headset on. This will send Wilkes to the free throw line. That foul on Walker, her second. And Caitlin Wilkes to the nail for the Lady Tigers. A couple of changes for the Firehawks. Aaron Grace Lester back in there. Actually, that's the only change Lester back in. This free throw for Wilkes rattles all the way around and falls through. Actually, Baker may have checked in as well. Rachel Baker back in for UT Southern. One more for Caitlin Wilkes. Can make it a 10-point game. 10 straight for the Lady Tigers to lead by 10. They were tied up 35 apiece. And thanks to Sutton and Boyle, some three-point field goals. They have opened it up a bit. Shero on the wing right side. Back to Lester out front. Left side, it is McNary. 13 to shoot. Elbow J blocked by Caitlin Wilkes. Lake to the other end. Faith Lake, left side, bump and foul by Taylor McNary. How about Wilkes with a rejection? And this will send Campbellsville to the free throw line here. That foul on McNary, her third. All three of her uh, fouls have been in this third quarter. And Faith Lake will take a trip to the strike. When we get back, we've got a stoppage here as there's a timeout on the floor taken by Coach Billy Evans. 133 to play in the third quarter. Lady Tigers by 10. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Taylor County Bank proudly supports the Campbellsville University Sports Network and Tiger Athletics. Serving the community for over 80 years, Taylor County Bank is Campbellsville's only locally owned bank. On the web at taylorcountybank.com. 
A gift from Campbellsville Baptist Church has made this broadcast possible. Sunday school begins at 915 with worship following at 1030. Campbellsville Baptist Church now online at CampbellsvilleBaptistChurch.com and on Twitter at Seville Baptist. Complete coverage of Lady Tiger basketball continues on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. 45-35, Lady Tigers lead UT Southern here in Pulaski, Campbellsville. Out rebounding UT Southern, 32-15 to for the basketball game. Eight offensive rebounds for Campbellsville. They have done a terrific job there. The bench today for the Lady Tigers helping out 23 bench points for Campbellsville. UT Southern just four points off of its bench. The Lady Tigers led in scoring at this stage by Maddie Boyle with nine. Faith Lake has eight, seven for Caitlin Wilkes in the basketball game. Sarah Sutton and Ashley McGeorge with five each for CU. It will be Faith Lake at the free throw line when we return to play here. Free throw here is good for Faith Lake. It's now an 11-point lead. UT Southern tied it up. Cheryl hit some threes, and they have went cold since. Lake's second free throw is good. Goff going to check in here for McNary with just over 90 seconds to play in the third quarter. 47-35, Campbellsville the advantage. Cheryl to Baker. Back to Goff. Find Cheryl on the baseline. Quick release. That is short. Rebound to Boyle. Boyle wants to run. A chance at number. Shero gets back into the play, however, and Boyle will wisely dribble out and leave it with the point guard, Lauren Lee. Lee bounces. Lake. Far side. Boyle. Triple. Bang! You betcha, Matty Boyle! Have a weekend. 50-35. to 35. Campbellsville by 15. 55 seconds to play in the quarter. Shero left side. Lee closes out. Baker to golf. They want Shero inside. They've got her working against Wilkes. Boyle reaches in, and we'll have a foul call here on Maddie Boyle. They will say this was in the act of shooting for Faith Shero. That is the first on Boyle, second on the Lady Tigers. Shero's first free throw on the way, and that is good. It bounces around and falls through. 42 Point three seconds remaining here in the third quarter. One more coming for Faith Shero, and this one is good as well. Wilkes looking. Going to come along here to Lee as she gets the step on golf. Left corner, Faith Lake dribbles. Now back out, handcuffs Boyle. Too low, Boyle couldn't handle it. Went right between her legs. She couldn't even get the uh, hand hardly down. She was going to have to try to feel that one like a shortstop changes here as Pritchett, McGeorge, Pettigo, and Calvert back in there. Faith Lake remains on the court. So you're going to have the starting lineup with the uh, addition of Shyla Calvert and Lauren Leestead here. 50 to 37. 30 seconds to play in the period. There's about a four second differential between the shot and game clock here. Lester has it raked away by Calvert. Shyla to the other end. She'll slow down a bit, dribble towards, and leave it with Pritchett. Now Pedigo collects it, and with 15 seconds, she backs away. 50 to 37. Lady Tigers would like to add to their lead. 15 the largest. Pedigo needs some help. Ooh, she shuffled her, her pivot foot, changed it. She spun around there and then stepped through without a dribble at her disposal. Bailey... Well, uh, kind of lowers her head there. She's a bit frustrated with that decision. Knew it immediately. Six seconds to work for UT Southern. 
McGeorge does a nice job flashing out. McNary going to sling one left side. Baker a contested three. No good. Faith Lake the rebound. And that's where the buzzer will bark to conclude period number three, 50 to 37. Lady Tigers with that 13-point advantage. We will step away, take a break, come back, and bring you some fourth-quarter coverage. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. We thank the Winters Dining Hall for their contribution to CU Athletics. The Winters Dining Hall features multiple food choices daily, pizza, salad, subs, and more. The Winters Dining Hall, located on the campus of Campbellsville University. A donation from Kellner Contracting has made this Campbellsville University athletics broadcast possible. Featuring 10-star heating and cooling products, Kellner Contracting is available for commercial and residential jobs on the web at kellnercontracting.com. Complete coverage of Lady Tiger basketball continues on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. 50-37, we get set to begin the fourth quarter here in Pulaski, Tennessee at the Curry Christian Life Center. Matt Payton with you. The Lady Tigers looking to make it a clean sweep over UT Southern this season. They'll need to close out strong here. Campbellsville. It's back out onto the court. It will be UT Southern basketball. Walker to pitch it in. McNary brings it ahead here for the Firehawks. Shero back door looking for McNary. Has her. And that's a nice job. Offensive execution for UT Southern as McNary gets the bucket. Try to go to the basketball for Campbellsville. 50-39 to 39 the score. And Lake had Bailey for just a split second. Couldn't quite get it to her, however. Now Pedigo backs away. Pritchett out front. One dribble. A foot beyond the free throw line. Sinks the mid-range J. Oh, Courtney swish it. 52-39. McNary holds. Left side. Lester flashes. Has the basketball out top. Now Baker. McNary driving in. She's going to take a jumper just inside the elbow. Bounces all the way around and falls through for Taylor McNary. 52-41. Less than nine minutes to play. Let it go. Bounces left side to Calvert. Now Pritchett off the screen. Has Lake far corner. Triple. No good. Rebound is going to be uh, fought for and they're actually going to say as Pritchett flew over the top trying to grab it. She and Walker both had their hands on it. They blow it dead and say Pritchett was out of bounds. So it goes to UT Southern. Lauren Lee going to enter the lineup here for Faith Lake. Lake will get a breather. You Lady Tiger fans worth noting uh, Lexi Lake getting plenty of shots up this weekend. She works her way back to full strength and boy oh boy is she looking good. Campbellsville hopes to get her back before they close out the regular season next weekend. Inside the entry to Walker. Goes up off glass. That is good for Savannah Walker. 52-43 now the count. So the Lady Tigers had a 15-0 run. 50-35. They were tied at 35. Led 50-35. to And now UT Southern trying to battle back. Inside Calvert finds a wide open Lauren Lee for the finish. Shot of Calvert to five. 54-43. Less than eight minutes to play. Lester out top. McNary. Fifteen on the shot clock here. Left side. Lester. Now Shero Back to Baker straight away on around. McNary holds it. They want Shero down low. It's not there. Lester with the entry. Here is Walker. And we're going to have McGeorge called. Little foul on McGeorge trying to come over the top there. That will be the third on McGeorge, first on the Lady Tigers in the period. McNary pitches it in. Baker a quick three, and that is good. Looks like Baker may have had a foot on the line, but they say it was a three-point shot. And UT Southern makes it an eight-point ball game. Boyle going to re-enter here for Campbellsville. 
Lee with the basketball for the Lady Tigers. Bounces left side, Pritchett, Walker defends. Pritchett working against Walker, spins away. Help, defender flashes out, forces Pritchett to give it up. Calvert, right wing, three, no good. Rebound, McGeorge, put back, is blocked. Pritchett has it, she'll come out of there with it and leave it with Pedigo, who's bumped and fouled by McNary. And that will be the fourth on Taylor McNary. First on the Firehawks in the fourth quarter. Boyle back in, Pedigo checking out. Eight point Lady Tiger advantage, 54-46. And Chumbley will check in here for UT Southern. Golf back in there for McNary. Walker checks out for Chumbley. Campbellsville pitches it in. Pritchett has it. Spinning out. Boyle won't shoot it. Drives back to Pritchett straight away. Pritchett working off the McGeorge screen. Calvert has it. Drives baseline. Kicks it out and it's stolen. She was looking for Lauren Lee. Golf intercepted it. Golf driving down. Contested shot. No good. McGeorge the rebound. Leaves it with Lauren Lee. Lee now wants to run a bit. Driving in, greeted by Baker, throws up a shot, won't go, and the rebound is knocked out of bounds by UT Southern. Fifty-four forty-six. Lee the basketball out top. Boyle again three. That one is no good. Short. And the rebound taken by Chumley. 54-46, Shero going to hoist the triple, and that is no good. It's short. Rebound is taken by McGeorge as Calvert knocked it away from Baker. Boyle, nice job. We'll slow down, shovel it back to Lauren Lee. Left side, Calvert. Over the top as McGeorge rolling to the rack. Right hand layup for Ashley McGeorge. just over five and a half minutes to play. Campbellsville, the 10-point lead. Inside, Chumley splits two defenders and throws up a quick shot. No good. Ball is free. Bodies go down. Shero picks it up. Calvert goes down. And what do we got here? Like a NASCAR race down inside Zach Clemens. A 10-car pileup down there. Foul going to go against Lauren Lee. McGeorge was on the ground. One of the UT Southern players went down as well. Then Calvert fell over McGeorge. Bodies were spilling all over the place. That is the second foul on Lauren Lee. Second on Campbellsville. Shero at the line here. 87% on the season. This one is good. Pritchett, Boyle, Wilkes, and Lee line the paint for Campbellsville. Calvert in the backcourt. Wilkes checking in for McGeorge. Second free throw for Shero is good. Now Faith Lake will enter for Calvert. 5.20 to play. Full court pressure for UT Southern here. Campbellsville pitches it into Boyle, working against Shero. Boyle with a crossover, some contact. Boyle still being ridden here, and Boyle, a crafty little move there, kind of leaned into Shero as she was being very aggressive in the backcourt. It's a really good game for Maddie Boyle today. And that's two on, that's actually three on Shero, two on the Firehawks. Sutton going to enter here for Pritchett. And they'll put 30 on the shot clock, five. 13 to play. Boyle to pitch it in for Campbellsville. On the dribble out front is Lee. Boyle to entry to Wilkes. Back out to Sutton. Boyle, corner, Faith Lake. Three on the way. Hard and the rebound taken by Chumbley. Golf will lead UT Southern to the offensive end of things. Chumbley Will now drive right side, throws one up over the top of Wilkes. No good. Walker's put back. She's fouled by Sutton. That 
That'll be the second on Sarah Sutton. This will bring us to a media timeout here as Savannah Walker will go to the free throw line when we get back. Campbellsville leads 56-48. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Kentucky. This message presented by the Kentucky High School Athletic Association and the Kentucky High School Athletic Directors Association. Thanks for following Lady Tiger Basketball. Now let's get you back to the action on the Camelsville University Sports Network. Four forty-five to play in this basketball game. The Lady Tigers leading UT Southern here in Pulaski. Campbellsville will finish this one up. They'll go back home to the Powell Athletic Center. They'll close out with three games in the friendly confine, friendly uh, confines of the Powell Life University on Tuesday, the the fifteenth uh, at six p.m. Shawnee State then on Thursday, and then the big one there to close out the season as uh, two top five teams will square off. You've got the Thomas More Saints at number two, the Lady Tigers at number five, the NAI poll. Free throw here for Walker is no good. That one is hard. Walker's had a big ball game for UT Southern. One more, and that one is good for Savannah Walker. So she gets one of two. A little pressure here in the backcourt for UT Southern. Campbellsville easy, uh, easily navigates out of some trouble and brings it ahead. Sutton to Wilkes out front. Now Lee, and Lee is bumped and tripped. Let's hope Warren is okay. So big fall there as she ran into the lower half of Shero, and that'll be four on Faith Shero, three on the Firehawks. So Shero and McNary each with four fouls. Shero will check out for Chumley. So difficult here uh, for Coach Evans as he tries to play come from behind basketball without maybe his two most important players, his leading scorer and point guard. Here is Boyle, kicks it. And here we've got an offensive foul on the back end. Lester stayed there in the paint to take the contact from Matty Boyle. So that will be the second on Boyle, four on the Lady Tigers. Another Campbellsville turnover. 56-49. Campbellsville led by eight. Walker hit one free throw a moment ago. Goff waiting. Lester bounces. Walker, quick shot is good. Savannah Walker... She turns and finds the rim. She knows where it's at. It's a it's a quick turn and release when she fires that mid range shot. Lake looking back door not there. Now dribbles out front. Five point game into the corner. Boyle open three. Bang! Maddie Boyle, the monster. Edward Jones three out of the corner to slow down the Firehawks. Campbells go back up by eight points here. We've got a timeout. 3.43 to play in the basketball game. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Tiger sports fans, get your tickets to support your favorite athletics team now. Check out the tickets tab at CampbellsvilleTigers.com and reserve your seat today. Whether it's in the Gosser Gymnasium, Powell Athletic Center, or the newly renovated Finley Stadium, Campbellsville University welcomes you to show your stripes on game day. Find your tickets at CampbellsvilleTigers.com. This is Ginger High Colvin, head coach of the Lady Tigers. Thanks for following today's coverage of CU Basketball on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. 59-51, the Lady Tigers lead UT Southern here in Pulaski, 15 points for Matty Boyle. Three more Edward Jones threes for the transfer. And Campbellsville with an eight-point advantage as we come down the stretch. Three, 
37 to play as McNary crosses the midcourt stripe. Walker, another three. That one is short. And a rebound to McNary. Lester bounces back to McNary. Down to the baseline. Here is a relief, quick release by Cheryl. No good. And again, McNary throws it off the chest of Pedigo. So Taylor McNary with a couple of hustle plays there for UT Southern. McNary pitches it in. Cheryl backs away. Fall away shot. No good. Rebound loose. Lee couldn't control it. It was not free. McGeorge needs some help. She wants a timeout. Finally, she will get it. And this will be a 30. We'll step away. 59-51, 3-11 to go. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Taylor County Bank proudly supports the Campbellsville University Sports Network and Tiger Athletics. Serving the community for over 80 years, Taylor County Bank is Campbellsville's only locally owned bank. On the web at taylorcountybank.com. A gift from Campbellsville Baptist Church has made this broadcast possible. Sunday school begins at 915 with worship following at 1030. Campbellsville Baptist Church now online at campbellsvillebaptistchurch.com and on Twitter at Seville Baptist. Complete coverage of Lady Tiger basketball continues on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Three minutes and 11 seconds to play in this one. Lady Tigers trying to pick up a road win over UT Southern here today. It has not been easy. Bit of a struggle for Campbellsville. They've hit some big shots when they've mattered most. Pritchett comes long ahead to Faith Lake. They easily work past that full court pressure from... UT Southern. Lauren Lee spins away from Chumbly. Now back on the far side. Lee angles with the basketball. Cut off a bit. Now to Pettigo. Lee comes through. Lee holds, waits, drives, kicks, corner, Lake, triple, around and out, no good. George, the rebound, splits defenders, put back, won't go, and it goes out of play off of Ashley McGeorge. to go. That allows Coach Evans to get Shero and McNary back in. They have those four fouls, so he's going a little offense-defense. Shero flips it over to Baker. Now right side, McNary. Shero comes through. Pritchett picks her up. They've got Lester. Can't shoot it. Bounces. Walker inside. Kicking. Shero open on the wing. Right side. Three on the way. No good. Rebound taken by McGeorge, and she is fouled in the backcourt. Underneath by Walker. So for Savannah Walker, that will be her third. And it's just the fourth team foul on UT Southern. Again, full court pressure for Campbellsville. They're in the bonus the rest of the way. Lee pitches it in short to Pritchett, spins to the sideline, long ahead McGeorge she finds Lake, a chance at numbers Lake will back away wisely and Campbellsville will hold the basketball, run a little clock here, 8 point lead 2 minutes or so to play Pettigo looking back door finds Lake, runs through Pritchett back into the corner to Lake 8 to shoot and we've got a foul here as Golf will foul Faith Lake and at that point I'm not sure that's where you want to go, you've only got seven on the shot clock here. You could have played that one out. So that foul on Takia Golf. Her second. And one half of the Great Lakes goes to the free throw line. Free throw here is good. Rattles around and through. One more coming for Faith Lake. That one pops off. Campbellsville 13 of 14 prior to that one. 60-51. Chumley in front of the UT Southern bench. Finds McNary. She'll take the baseline jumper that is good. Timeout taken here by Coach Billy Evans as it is back to a seven-point margin with 143 to play in the basketball game. Lady Tigers by seven. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. We thank the Winters Dining Hall for their contribution to CU Athletics. The Winters Dining Hall features multiple food choices daily. 
pizza, salad, subs, and more. The Winter's Dining Hall, located on the campus of Campbellsville University. A donation from Keltner Contracting has made this Campbellsville University athletics broadcast possible. Featuring Tempstar heating and cooling products, Keltner Contracting is available for commercial and residential jobs on the web at keltnercontracting.com. Complete coverage of Lady Tiger basketball continues on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Sixty to fifty-three, Lady Tigers will deal with the full court pressure as they lead it by seven with one forty-three to go. Pritchett to inbound. You got Calvert, Lee, Boyle, and McGeorge out there as well. Boyle works the sideline, comes long to Lee. McNary stumbles. A chance at numbers. Lee will hesitate and pull it back out here, however, and they will foul now. Courtney Pritchett. Lee did the wise thing there. She had McGeorge ahead, could have bounced it and tried for what might have been an easy two, but uh, the wise play is to slow it down and knock down free throws. The foul on Lester is her second. Swiss to the nail here for Campbellsville. Pritchett, 88% on the year. McGeorge checks out. Had to go in there for CU. Free throw is good here for Courtney Pritchett. Tigers coming up here in just a moment. They'll take on the Firehawks. That game scheduled for a 4 o'clock tip-off. We might be right on pace as Pritchett hits both free throws. We had all kinds of time at life on Thursday, 35 minutes or so between games. 62-53. Campbellsville leads by 9. Chumley going to take a contested 3 over Boyle. No good. Boyle grabs the long rebound. Off to Lee and ahead. Lee will back away. We'll see if UT Southern will foul and try to extend once again. Lee to Calvert. 15 on the shot clock. Calvert content to dribble here. Now Lee. Calvert once again bounces that ball. That's a kick. That's a kick ball. Mercy. Let's hope that doesn't matter. 50 seconds. McNary in. Throws up a shot. She's fouled by Calvert. So this foul on Shyla Calvert will be her second. Two shots coming here for Taylor McNary, 74% on the year. 49.8 seconds remaining. Free throw pops off. McNary had that thing halfway down and... It flies out. One more for Taylor McNary here. She gets that one. 62-54 the count. And a timeout taken by Coach Billy Evans with 49.8 seconds remaining. Campbellsville by eight. You're following the Lady Tigers on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Kentucky. This message presented by the Kentucky High School Athletic Association and the Kentucky High School Athletic Directors Association. Thanks for following Lady Tiger Basketball. Now let's get you back to the action on the Camelsville University Sports Network. 49.8 seconds to play Campbellsville. If they can take care of the basketball, knock down a few free throws, going to pick up the win here. Lauren Lee is fouled immediately. And this will go against Goff. That is... Her third. And Lauren Lee will go to the free throw line here for CU. Lee again, mid 80s percent on the year. This free throw is good. Sixty-three fifty-four. Double-digit margin here. Yes, Lauren Lee gets it. 
And with 48.1, Coach Billy Evans has taken another timeout. This will advance the basketball. I thought we might be, uh, we might get out of here pretty quick there, but, uh, we're gonna extend this thing out just a bit. We'll step away here. It's a 10 point Lady Tiger advantage. You're following the Lady Tigers with 48 seconds remaining on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Tiger Sports Fans. Get your tickets to support your favorite athletics team now. Check out the tickets tab at CampbellsvilleTigers.com and reserve your seat today. Whether it's in the Gosser Gymnasium, Howell Athletic Center, or the newly renovated Finley Stadium, Campbellsville University welcomes you to show your stripes on game day. Find your tickets at CampbellsvilleTigers.com. <laughs> This is Ginger High Colvin, head coach of the Lady Tigers. Thanks for following today's coverage of CU Basketball on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Back at it here in Pulaski as the clock winds. UT Southern works with a basketball. McNary going to take a three over the top of Lee here. No good. Calbert the rebound, and that might be enough to do this one in for UT Southern. The Lady Tigers going to pick up. The victory as they back away. The shot clock is off, and Campbellsville will secure a 10-point victory. The final score here will be 64-54. to 54. Yeah, Back a little late from that timeout, the uh, public address said a full timeout. It ended up being a 30. So we missed a few seconds, but Campbellsville gets the win as the buzzer sounds. Lady Tigers, after the victory, they are now 23-3 on the year. They are 15-3 in Mid-South Conference play.